Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jewel. We're going to be doing part two of this cute desk set, um, and I will link part one below. So let's get right into it. And um, my video kind of turned, uh, it kind of stopped on me abruptly at the end, so sorry about that, guys. So I think I was just going too long. And we got to this part where we have a pocket here, and then we had made the, the folder. And now I'm going to go ahead and put some, I think the first thing I want to do is put some of this paper on the back. So it, we won't, I don't want to leave this plain. So as you can see with this one, um, behind the tags, I have um, some of this honeycomb paper. And this is from... Uh, I'm using from uh, the book Vandal Shop, the Honey Blossom Kit. So I'm using elements of that. All right, so first thing I want to do, I think, is to um, get... I'm going to just line this up so I can get this, the you know, right to go around the tab at the top. So I'm just going to trace around that. And I, I think that's probably going to be the easiest way actually let me go yeah right to there I had to shut the blind a minute ago so it's a little I hope you guys can see okay because um Ricky and both Brie is now joined Ricky oops up on the sewing table which they can see outside. So let me cut around this to get my cutter. Can see outside, so they watch the street and they bark at everything that comes up the street. So it's so frustrating to me, but they join me when I'm in here creating, but unfortunately, when I'm making videos, that doesn't go too well because they get very noisy. So I had to, I have to shut the blinds, so they um behave so we'll see how it goes so i'm going to just cut right around here and hopefully this will line up pretty good at the back oops you know what I have to cut off the white. <clears throat> Let me cut off the white strip on the side, the border. So it printed out the, the border. So I'm enjoying using this little kit making these. Now this one that we're gonna create um, will be, let me take a little off of this side in the, um, for my May giveaway. Now my April giveaway, let me just show you that real quick, is this, so if you have not went on, gone over and commented on that video, I'm going to be giving this away and I'm doing, I think the, the drawing on Monday. I think that's the 20, know, the 20 something. I don't have a calendar in front of me, but that's when I'm going to be doing the drawing, so. Um, if you'd like to get in for that one, I'm going to take a tad more off. I just like it a little bit inside the border. So what are we going to do here? Let's go ahead and ink around the edges. Now on this one, I noticed the last one, I think when I made it, I made it a little longer um, when I did the um, fold the folder. So it would wrap around and I did not see the seam here. So you can see a seam, a little seam here. Um, see this one, I think I kind of wrapped it around underneath. I don't know if you can see that. So, um, but this still works. I mean, 
like I said yesterday, if you join me, I I made I did this project like a month ago, and um, I forgot how I constructed it, so I had to sit there and um look at it and study it and measure it and try to figure out how I made it. And it's out of a file. It's out of a Manila file folder, so. All right, now we can glue this on and then we'll make a pocket on the back. Let me find some glue. I've been using, I think I'll just use the uh, tacky glue on this. This one's, this one's the watered down one. The one I, I thin out so I can put it in this little, this little number and it comes out easier. So let's just get this adhered. Now that other little project, um, the tag shape accordion folio seem to be quite popular. So if you guys watched that series and you were able to create um, one of those, let me know. I'd love to get some feedback and see how, how yours came out. A lot of fun to make. And the neat thing about the accordion cover is you can um, you can get a lot of uh, pockets and stuff in that, and really load it up and and do a lot of a lot of journaling in that. Plus, they're cute. All right, so there's the back. All right, now I'm going to make a pocket on the back. Let's see what I have over here for paper. Um, I think I used the B. Let's see if I can find that over here. This I've got ready to go on the front. I should have a piece cut off. Here we go. All right, let's see what we need here. Let me cut off the white border. And I think I was, let's make the pocket the same size as the other side. So this pocket was two and a quarter inches. And we want six and a, and six and three quarters long. So, let's do two and a quarter inches and three, what did I say, six and three quarters? Yes, yeah, six and three quarters long. Oh, got to open up my... right yep that's pretty good ink it now you can you know you can round your corners and all that if if you so choose for your pockets for the essence of time here I'm not going to do that Actually, I think what I did last time is I went in and I got it, I thought it was a little white. So I'm just going to go over this with my brush just to grunge it up a little bit. And we will secure this. Let me do it over here so I don't get glue on there. I need to keep my uh, tacky glue upside down, don't I? Okay, whoops. Sorry, I think I probably shook shook the camera shook the camera, guys. 
Alright, let's put that right down here. And now we're ready to do that cute wrap around. Now, what I had stated yesterday, I'm not sure if it cut it off, but um, when you get your cut off piece on the side, you're gonna be left with something like this. And these have the, the scores already in them. So what I'm doing is I just simply coming in and scoring because we got a one quarter inch uh, spine on each side just one of these notches so there are one two three notches so it's like three quarters of an inch if you wanted to do the the whole thing and so here's one of the cutoffs and I inked this yesterday and I I just came in and I'll show you I'll pull out the other project see how that fits right there on the edge right over the edge and this is going to make this cute little flip out just like this see and then i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to turn this side back just like this actually you know what i want to do i think i'm going to go ahead and cover this with paper but I don't want, actually I will turn it because I don't want the same paper. And this this little thing comes so you can flip this out and it's got little pads of paper here. This side's open, see a little pad of paper in it. So that's fun. And then just these, you know, these, well, I'm not sure what you call those little ring things. All right, so we're going to do the same thing on the back. Let me flip that over. So you're going to have it, it's going to look like this now. All right, and I, I'm going around the corner of this one, this side. One of my dogs is playing with one of its toys over there. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that. It's one of those um, action toys for dogs. And she just, this is, that one's Lucy, she's the old girl. She, she uh, just entertains herself with that toy. Just gonna do some inking. Then let's pick some paper to go over this. So what do I have over here? I think we'll use this. Let me see what I did with, yep, yeah, this I used. Here's the plot. I used the honeycomb. So we'll go ahead and we'll put some honeycomb on this. And this is, uh, I guess this is going to end up being a, um, well, that'll be just about perfect. So I'm just going to cut the white parts off and then we'll cut down the side. So off frame for a second. Just going to leave my cutter over here. And then um, I'm just going to mark with my pencil. I like to keep a small border. This is a little short, but that's okay. I'm just gonna move it just like that. And we will do a little um, round the corner there. So I like to keep a little border I um, all the way around my when I when I do the cuts because it, it just gives it a, a more finished look it's like you're matting it and this comes from my card making days okay and we'll round this corner not necessary and let's go ahead and ink this and then we're going to decorate the cover and hopefully we can get to that today. It's like, I, I think this project is just gonna take a little bit longer. I might, I'll probably do another upload two videos today so you can, yeah. Okay, now let's go ahead and glue this on so you guys can, you know, make it follow along and you know, kind of craft with me. Okay. 
Okay. Let's put that, line it up. Whoops. There we go. And then um, the other side. I might not, let's see if this is gonna be wide enough. This is a little bit narrow. Let me see if I have any more over here. I have, I don't have any more of the honeycomb, I don't think. Let me see. I had a darker piece. Let me see, this one any wider? Nope. I had a darker piece over here somewhere. Let me see what I got. Yeah, we'll use the darker piece on this side. This way we just kind of use up all, all of what we've been cutting. So let me cut that down. We don't like to throw anything away, do we guys? Well, this is a little that's a little, oh, it's the size. Nope, still didn't do it right. Well, there you go, you're seeing all my mistakes. Let's try this again. Let's try it again, see if we, it's like measure twice, cut once. A little different, <laughs> I measure once and cut twice, I guess. Okay. I think I need a little bit more ink on my ink pad. It's getting a little dry. Need to re-ink it. Go through a lot of vintage, vintage photo ink. There we go, that's better. I think I'm gonna put this upside down. I keep forgetting to put the glue upside down and it's slow. And there's this side. Okay, now we can go ahead and secure this. Oh, you know what we need to do? Do I need to do this side? Let me see. This is going to go this way. Hold on. Let me grab my folder. Yes, it's going to go this way. So the only it's a pocket. So the only part we need to cover is just this. Whoops, I got this upside down. Is this part? Need to ink a little bit more here this part that folds back. So I need to put a little piece of cardstock on that. So I think we can go ahead and secure it and then I'll, I'll do that. So I wanna glue uh, here and then here, okay? And then the same thing on the back. So let's go ahead and and now, see how I put this? I popped it down a little bit. Let me, I can even pop it all the way down to the bottom. There we go. And that way, you can have a pocket here. And then, of course, our other pockets back there. And then, this can even, you can even maybe use this as a pocket here. Or even in here, you know, for that matter. Um... So let me go ahead and ink this real quick. And then we will just cut a little piece of cardstock for that. And let's go ahead and get this on here. So 
so we're going to just do across the bottom and uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and put a little glue on the spine that little notch and then right down on the inside Let's get this lined up and over and over there we go now I'm trying to determine do I want to put a little glue here yeah I think I do I don't want to we don't we don't need a pocket there that way this is a little bit more secure so let me go over that again how I did the glue is the glue is across the bottom here on this little spine part and down the side okay and then this is going to be we'll cover that in a minute um, and now we're going to do the same thing on the back side we're going to do across the bottom a little bit here on the side so we have plenty of room for tucking and then right up along where that fold is going to be. Let me add a little bit more. Let's get this nice and secure, lined up. Bend this back. Okay, so we're just gonna add a little cardstock to that. I think before I do that, um, we will go ahead and we'll do a little decorating. That way we can um, get that part done. Now, what I did here is, let me just take these out, is I just did a little layer, let me pop that out, a little layer, and uh, I did a layer of um, fabric, and that's muslin, and some cheesecloth, and then I took a piece of the honey blossom paper and um, I simply tore around it so I just took it and I tore it okay all the way around and then on in the digital she has let me show you I have one right here at the bottom of uh, some of the paper she has this cute quote says the flower doesn't dream of the bee it blossoms and the bee comes mark nepo or nepo so uh i tore that out so i simply came and just tore around that okay and you can see i inked it all the way around and then i inked this all the way around but i also did come in and I used my stencil and I did a honeycomb. Let me just show you that, like, like that. Just a honeycomb um, stencil on the top of that. So, for the essence of time, that is, what did I do with it now? Oh, here it is. That is finished. So all we're going to do now is we're going to start layering because I wanted to sew this. Okay, 